Hey everybody, welcome to Dynamic Discs Updates with Jeremy Rusko. It is a chilly Monday here in Emporia, Kansas, um, but uh, we are excited to be here and get you guys filled in on the latest happenings here at Dynamic Discs. As you can see from our table here, we have lots to talk about. How are you doing, Jeremy? I'm doing fantastic. Good, good weekend of disc golf for me. Oh, not, yeah? not down in Waco or anything, oh, but yeah. uh, I got to throw some discs here, which is nice, good. Nice, nice. So yeah, me, Anthony, and Robert McCall just got back from Waco, Texas, the Waco Annual Charity Open uh, that was put on by Ryan Draper. Amazing event. Ryan did an outstanding job running the event. Um, turned out we, we were, there was some rain, but not until the final round. But other than that, it was beautiful weather out there for some disc golf. Everybody seemed to have a really good time at the Fly Mart, at all the festivities and everything. So uh, kudos to Ryan Draper and all the staff out there that put on the event. And of course, Stephen Dodge for the uh, the tour running out there. It was really cool. And if you have not watched the coverage, now I won't go do any spoiler alerts here, except for one person we'll talk about here in a minute, but um, you need to watch the coverage because both the MPO and the FPO were exciting. Got down to the last hole on each one. In fact, the, well, okay, I don't want to spoil. So we can't spoil? Too, too early for spoiler alerts, except for we're going to talk about FPO because we're too excited about that. Is it too late, to, too much? Which we, might as well, we can talk about it. So, so spoiler alert, if you have not watched anything and you really don't want to know about the female uh, division, stop paying attention right now because we are super <laughs> excited to celebrate Paige Pierce's 100th win and her being the highest rated female player in the history of disc golf. Uh, she is currently rated at 978. Of course, we know if you follow Paige, that is yeah. definitely not her end goal. She is wanting to be the first thousand rated female player, and I believe she is headed in that direction. She's got it for sure. She's got it for sure. It's going to be a few yeah. years just to wait because of the way the system works, but uh, we are so super excited for Paige. Again, her 100th win, which was at the Waco Annual Charity Open. So, congratulations. Um, I, even though you may know the winner, you definitely got to watch it because it came down to the very, the very yeah. last hole uh, for, for the winner to be determined. And uh, it was, I was there and I tell you, uh, I was so nervous for Paige. Everybody was nervous for Paige. And uh, so anyway, it was exciting. So make sure you check that out. So uh, we've got a lot more to talk about, Jeremy. What else do you want to talk about? Disc golf. All right, let's talk disc about disc golf, golf and dynamic disc. All right. <laughs> no, I got to play this weekend. It was uh, a nice weekend here in Emporia, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I used a Zuka cart, Zuka backpack cart, Whoa. for the first time that I've ever used a cart, and I totally <laughs> understand what all the rage is about for the cart. I'm a little embarrassed to uh, to for it to uh, taken this long to get out there and played with one, but um, I am now going to be loyal to the cart using the cart a lot. It's amazing just how much energy that saves uh, throughout the course of a round and just how convenient uh, a cart is, at least for, I was playing Peter Pan. I would say all the courses in Emporia are very cart friendly. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of the courses in the United States, of course, are cart friendly as well. So uh, a lot of fun there through um, a lot of the new releases. Um, my favorite disc, Anthony's favorite disc, the cap, uh, the captain. <clears throat> I, I did throw the captain, but the Maverick. I just wanted to see if he was paying attention over there. Uh, the Maverick, uh, great disc, uh, captain as well. Through the musket, which is the trilogy challenge, um, speed ten fairway driver for latitude sixty four. Fantastic disc. Um, believe it or not, you know there's been a lot of talk about the Explorer. Well, it finally made its way into my bag this weekend, and that that uh, that's a great disc. And then the um, the Warhorse uh, and the Anvil, and we just got these Warhorses in um, to send out to the team, the team uh, team edition, team prototypes, and these things are beefy. Um, people have been asking for a more overstable, uh, wide rim, fast driver. Uh, more overstable than the Enforcer, and the Warhorse is uh, is the answer to that. Um, the Anvil prototypes are shipping out as well. Um, these things are super sweet. Just think of a, a Justice without a bead. Super comfortable in the hand. Uh, great to fight a strong wind. Um, great to throw a sidearm. Fun disc. Uh, the Fuji uh, Latitude 64's new release for uh, be out for GBO time. Uh, got to throw that, and this thing is like an overstable verdict. Uh, great disc, overmold, um, 2K technology that uh, Latitude 64 is very excited about. We're excited about it as well. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Again, 
got to use the cart. Um, speaking of Zuka, I uh, wanted to announce their commitment and their sponsorship to uh, the Junior World Championships mm -hmm. that is hosted here in Emporia, Kansas, July 11th through the 14th. Um, but uh, Zuka is proud to be one of the premier sponsors for the event. And um, they are going to be including something special in the player pack. So uh, if you're... The um, only thing we can say is what Doug has allowed us to say, <laughs> which is make sure you pack accordingly. Yes to take some stuff home with you. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so cool, cool stuff there. Something that, uh, yeah, Zook is a, just a great partner, great company. And of course, they, they uh, we're, we're, we're thrilled to be uh, partnered with them to produce our carts. And now I see why everybody wants to use a cart out there. So if you don't have one, don't, don't be like me. Um, <clears throat> Uh, before, yeah. we, before we move on, if you're just tuning in, this is uh, uh, we're trying to do this every third Monday of the month where we sit down with Jeremy Russell and get some of the latest updates on news here at Dynamic Discs. If you have any questions about updates, if we are allowed to answer them, we will try to answer them. Anthony is behind the scenes. He's watching the uh, comments on this live video. Put your questions in there, and we'll see if we can get to them during the live event. So what do we got up next, Jeremy? Uh, back to this disc golf thing in Emporia, I'm starting my match play oh this wednesday i've got kevin schaefer oh. not not only in dixon jowers bracket but also in eric mccabe's <laughs> bracket uh, if you don't know kevin schaefer he is uh, one of our graphic designers here he's a great disc golfer he's a great graphic designer and uh i don't know how you disc picked us to play um both of our first rounds together but it is what it is and that's going to be fun so uh, match play uh, i know that player pack discs are shipping out to um tournament directors or hosts uh, this week it's uh, we've got a very cool fusion burst maverick that's going to be in the player pack as well as a fusion burst explorer two fantastic discs and tds also had the opportunity to pick up some moonshine deputies so um, contact your uh, your host um, oh there All goes right. that disc there contact your host one. if you want a moonshine deputy and uh, yeah match play so cool, um, such, a, such a fun format. Uh, we got our trophy disc for the local qualifier. Don't, you don't wanna be the one to get second place or, or third place, but we've got the, the junior disc and the mini disc as well for those. So all that stuff is shipping to TDs this week and uh, the local qualifying happens um, any time from now through April uh, for the match play. And then the state finals will happen in May with the national uh, finals happening in Emporia in June. So match play, very cool. Over 260 brackets across uh, the United States and Canada, and we are working on a European uh, match play as well. So there will be more information and more details about uh, European match play coming up very soon. Now, did you mention the grand prize? I know you talk about prize. I did not talk about the grand so prize. So the big grand prize for the person that comes to Emporia, Kansas and takes the championship wins 18 veteran baskets. Woo! And T signs, right? No? Yes? No? I don't know. We'll just go with the veteran baskets. More importantly, you get discs for life. And I need that, so I got to play. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You need some, some way of getting discs. So, yeah, you get, if you just play, you get some really sweet discs, but you also get a chance to travel to Emporia, Kansas for the championships. And then, of course, you're playing for prizes. We have fourth, third, sec, uh, second, and first place prize. All of them are amazing, but of course that first place prize is just amazing. 18 veteran baskets to do whatever you want with it. You can put them all in your backyard if you want. Um, that sounds and then, fun. And then you, can, then you can play all you want with uh, your discs for life. Make sure you go to discgolfmatchplay.com to get all the details on winning that. Also, if you just want to watch to see how brackets in different er areas are happening across the United States, you can go to udisc.com slash matchplay. UDISC has done an amazing job at setting up the brackets uh, to see who's playing against who, seeing the results. You can click on a state, check out the result, results that are happening there. There are plenty of uh, brackets that are need to be filled or, or are already filled and just haven't played yet, but you can actually see some of the results here from Texas. We have results coming in from Colorado, Kansas, uh, let's see, Wisconsin. So all kinds of match play stuff going on, exciting stuff.
It's that time of the year. So next up is we're going to talk about some first run discs we have coming out. Uh, yeah, the Captain and Mavericks are actually shipping this week uh, to the retailers. So um, next week, those are going to start showing up to retail stores across the across the country, across the world. So make sure you, um, if you're interested in the Captain or the Maverick, that you uh, contact your local retailer to get those. No, we have some over here, right? Uh, well, there's some, yeah, some, well, those are stock stamps, not necessarily oh, first I'm sorry, run, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. Yeah, it's same thing. My bad. So, uh, we got a new guy in the office. Yes, we do. He's right there. You can't see him, but I can see him. Mr. Danny Lindahl. Why don't you come over here, Danny, and just wave at everybody? See if you can get Everybody wants camera. to see you. <clears throat> you probably recognize Danny from his YouTube videos and on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess he doesn't tell if I was in frame. <laughs> you Close enough. He's close enough. So anyway, he, today is his first day. He's uh, working on videos already from stuff we did at Waco, Texas. So he's already hit the ground running. He's, we've already uh, talked this morning about projects. He, so make sure you subscribe to us on youtube.com slash dynamic discs. Subscribe because you're going to see a lot more instructional videos uh, coming from Danny Lindahl. We're super excited about that. Yeah, if you have not thought about relocating to Emporia, Kansas, I strongly recommend you give it consideration. I uh, actually just got this um, on my desk today, the 2018 Emporia Relocation Guide. And if you like disc golf, Emporia is the place for you. And I, I thought this was really cool uh, in, in the magazine. Uh, they've got, uh, they, they recognized uh, Dynamic Disc for being business, business of the year in here. But more importantly than that, uh, they tell some of the stories of people who have relocated to Emporia for disc golf. There's a story about Joseph Lowe um, in here and, and how disc golf brought him to Emporia. And then a lot of you know Derek Savory. Um, well, the reason that Derek Savory is here is uh, partly because of his wife, um, who also relocated here. So they've got Nikki, uh, Nikki's story here in the relocation guide. So um, if you like disc golf, Come to Emporia. That's that. For sure. All right, let's take a quick break. We're going to see if we can answer some of these questions. You ready? I'm ready. There's some good oh, ones in oh here. Oh, my. Do we have a release date? This is Selton, he asked. Do we have a release date on Lucid X? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I know they're getting produced, and we are uh, rushing to get those over here to be uh, to support our, our some of our touring team players. And uh, we're, we're, we're rushing those as quick as we can. I know there's some, been some... Um, some slight delays, but nothing uh, nothing that's going to keep them out for too long. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Uh, any dates for the... We've talked about the Maverick and the Captain, but what about... And we know the Patrol is going to be the Trilogy Challenge disc, so we kind of know a time frame for that, but any time frame for the Getaway? The Getaway is going to be the Glass Blown Open uh, and, and Bowling Green release. So players at the Bowling Green Amateur Championships will actually get a Biofusion Getaway, and then that next week here in Emporia for the Glass Blown Open... Uh, we will be releasing the getaway uh, to the masses, and that's a disc that is absolutely going to be making its way in a lot of players' bags as well. David wants to know, what's the War Horse? Did you talk about the War Horse? Yeah, the War Horse okay. is a very overstable. Uh, this actually, we, we tested these out, um, and it wasn't quite stable enough uh, months ago, and then they retooled the War Horse, which is a wide rim uh, west side driver that is very beefy, very overstable. You can turn that thing over and count on it to come back. Um, you can throw it sidearm with a lot of torque and it's not going to turn over and turn and burn into the ground. So um, that is going to be, I believe, a glass blown open uh, release as well. So uh, exciting things coming during the glass blown open. If you're not coming to the glass blown open, you probably should. <laughs> if not, just for all the releases that are happening. <clears throat> Um, let's see, uh, Alex wants to know, will the match play finals be on video? I would imagine we're going to do some kind of video for the finale finale, right? We got three people in the media department. I hope you guys I hope we can put some kind of video together <laughs> for the match play. So, yes, Alex, when we get down to the final people that are playing, we'll have some kind of video put together for that. Uh, we're definitely I can't wait to... to be playing in that finals. <laughs> Listen to this guy. Listen to this guy. Uh, probably need to make a bet with you, too, huh? Yeah. See what, uh, anyway, um, Alan says... Uh, I ask, is there any plans for any of the current molds or any of new molds to come out in air plastic? Yes. And yes. All right. We know we need more air plastic. We know we need more lightweight. Uh, as uh, the popularity of dynamic latitude and west side has picked up, there's been more and more players who are wanting uh, more weight, weight varieties and 
getting getting those discs made in air plastic is absolutely something that we need to do. And I think we actually had some uh, some latitude new some new air latitude dish show up, but I can't I can't keep it all straight anymore. But more more will be on the way for sure. Excellent. Okay, one more question before we head back to our uh, agenda. Um, has Rusco ever eaten the Roscoe at Torchy's Taco? <laughs> do you even know what that is? Torchy's? Well, but do you yeah, know what Roscoe is? No. Okay, so. so. Okay, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. All right, you got to understand. I just got back. Well, me, Anthony, and Robert just got back. Torchy's Tacos is a taco place in the Texas area. Um, and, and there's actually one in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which isn't too far from. Let's Mars, go. I know. Let's go. So anyway, road trip. It's it's very good tacos. Um, in fact, we ate there. We were there for five days. We ate there for dinner every night. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. <laughs> but and then lunch, we didn't we? Breakfast. Oh, then we had breakfast there. Oh, yes, gosh. we had breakfast there one time. <laughs> okay, so the Roscoe is a is a it comes out only twice a year. It's a tortilla with waffles, or no, tortilla, and then with a, a uh, over easy egg, a waffle, and then a, like a chicken finger. And then you put, uh, and, wa bacon. and bacon, oh, and bacon, geez. and then you put ma maple syrup over it and you eat it like that. I don't and think I can was, handle. I had it every time we went, even for breakfast. It was the, so good. The the Rasco? Rosco. Rosco. So we'll have to make sure you go to Waco next year. So you can go to Waco. So Rusco will have a Waco Rosco. <laughs> Rusco will have I a, can't wait. Rusco will have a Rosco in Waco. Actually, I think I'm gonna try to Uber. Don't they Uber deliver now? Food? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> well, we have to make a trip to Tulsa or something. So <laughs> anyway, okay, back to our agenda. Next up, what we have is looks like on the list, Buckhorn bins. Oh yeah, I got an, yeah, I got an update on the um they're, they've been known as the buckhorn bins, which are the, the plastic storage bins that you'll see most tournament uh, directors have uh, that carry discs out to the park. But um, anyway, we uh, have something in the works. They're not going to be buckhorn bins or, or from buckhorn, but we have uh, we, we will have a new shipment of, of uh, plastic bins that are compatible uh, with the buckhorn bins. And our uh, target for those is to have those before the glass blown open, giving you one more reason to come to Emporia <laughs> uh, so that you can load up all this new plastic uh, in um, some new plastic bins. Excellent. Yeah. Good deal. I need to get a couple for myself. <laughs> uh, before the glass blown open, Bobby and I are headed to Bowling Green. Uh, this Bowling... golf adventure. Woo! Bowling Green Amateur Championships. I think there's, uh, I haven't looked at registration, but close to 900 competitors at the Bowling Green Amateur Championships. One oh, of the wow. best amateur events of the year. Bobby and I have been going out there for, for quite a few years and we always have a great time. So um, you're gonna see the RV out there. You're gonna see us out there and we look forward to seeing um, so many new faces out at uh, out in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Absolutely. Make sure you come up, shake our hands, say hello. A lot of you guys did that out at Waco, Texas for me and Robert. And I think just think it's awesome. Amazing. We love to see your faces and stuff like that. So make sure you stop by and say hello. Uh, right after Bowling Green. Well, we're actually going to head out a little bit early. We're going to leave Bowling Green Friday and head to Dynamic Discs, Northwest Arkansas, grand opening where Matt Lloyd uh, and Jared Ashbrenner have been working their tail off to get their new store up and running. Um, the grand opening will be that Saturday, April 21st, and um, Bobby and I, uh, I'm as so excited about that. Well, as some of our team members uh, will be there, and it's going to be a great time. We're really looking forward to having our fourth Dynamic Discs retail store in the United States. If you ever meet Matt Lloyd, you will understand why we are so super excited to have him run that store out there. But you have to ask him to tell you the story about his our, his first time, was first time? <laughs> his first time out in the RV and what happened with him and the. Black, what is it, Blackwater? Yeah. Yes, you need that. <laughs> Let's just say his first trip out in an RV, uh, he uh, had quite an experience with the Blackwater of the RV. So anyway, um, let's see. So someone asked a question about this, so I think it's appropriate that we move on to Hand Eye Supply Monthly Subscription. Yes. Tell us what's that. All so we have been finalizing the details with uh, the, the Hand Eye Supply monthly subscription service and uh, I 
any day you're going to get the full details on that. I would like to think that hopefully by tomorrow um, we are able to get the subscription service started for uh, anybody to get in on some of this very cool hand-eye supply product. Uh, the first month, um, the, the, the uh, monthly service is $39.99 and you get a bunch of limited cool stuff. Some of this stuff will only be available in the subscription service uh, that, that people will get delivered monthly uh, at the first of every month. Um, this is a Dymax Fusion Burst Houdini Escape uh, that'll have Certificate of Authenticity. Um, Do you get the, it? Houdini Escape? Come on now. You gotta make that connection. Cool, uh, cool collector box, cool. Um, Cool stuff all the way around with this. Uh, there's also another burst uh, burst disc that'll be in there. Um, really cool T-shirt, uh, a silly pint that'll be. I think it's a glow silly pint. Um, some stickers, some cool stuff. Is this a shirt? And that, that yeah, that's. Uh, it's not exactly that shirt, but oh, okay. it is pretty much that shirt. So, um, Crispin is a very talented designer. He puts out some cool, funky, wacky, awesome stuff. And this is a a very cool opportunity for people to get some very limited stuff that the only way you'll be able to get some of this stuff is uh, through the monthly subscription service. So more information will be plastered all over our uh, social media channels and our newsletters um, as soon as that stuff gets uh, gets finalized and we are very close to making all that happen. Absolutely. It's just, it's, we've got a few questions in here. Uh, I think you talked about a few West Side Discs mold, but Justin wants to know when the new molds are coming to the stores, the West Side molds. Uh, again, I don't have uh, the exact dates, but I believe that we were targeting a glass blown open release um, for the Anvil uh, and for the War Horse. We'll get that at question answered on the next episode for sure. All right, and then uh, Jelty, I think, that's how you pronounce it, are the Emac Mercies on the way. Do we have Emac Mercies? I, I know we used to. I don't know. I know he's putting with the Mercies now. If so. Emac said something's coming on the way, it's probably it's coming. Way. And then, uh, oh, we have a question from a, a new listener and a new watcher. Uh, Kevin Schaefer, I think, is Schaffer. 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 He says, is Rusko scared for Wednesday? No. All right. No, not one day. Straight to the point. You better be scared. Uh, Josh, the, now back to what we were talking about, the hand eye supply subscription. Josh wants to know, will the boxes be a mystery or will we know what's in each month? Well, as of right now, you will know what is in each box. Um, and again, that those details will be uh, out there very, very soon. Yes, as we get more details finalized, you'll start seeing information sprinkled out on our social media. So make sure Facebook, so, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, you're following us so we get you more information. As, and I'm sure we'll have something on our website as yes. well. Yes, the one thing that I can promise you is that uh, the discs that are going to be in there are from Dynamic, Latitude, and West Side. Excellent. All right, so looks like next is we're working on new di already to figure out what we need for 2019. <sighs> yeah, I'm just, you know, we don't even have the 2018 releases yeah. out in full yet. And we are already working with uh, Thomas over there at Latitude 64 uh, to finalize our what we're offering in, in 2019. And I tell you what, it's... There's so many good releases coming out this year between Dynamic, Latitude, West Side. There's so much good stuff. And, and there's, I feel like, so few gaps in our lineup. Um, but with that being said, there's always, uh, there's always more that we need. So um, we're finalizing what we're coming out with next year. If you've got some input, some suggestions, fill up the comment box. Know that we're going to look at it and read them. And know that we have not finalized uh, everything quite yet for what we're planning on doing for 2019, but we are absolutely already working on it. Excellent. Um, and then, uh, oh, a container. Oh, we got a, got a container today? Last. Oh, okay, last, okay. I sorry. don't know, a couple days ago. This, I, I know I saw a truck earlier, so maybe I thought maybe another one came in, but we have some, oh, yes, the new releases that are coming out, a soft burst deputy. <whistles> I know a bunch of people will be excited about that. And then a Paige Pierce fusion burst convict. I know a lot of people that have been asking about Fusion Convict, so that's gonna be great for them. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff that showed up on the containers. Um, our order form looks better than it's ever looked before. There's so much stuff that's in stock. Uh, we got a whole bunch of hand eye stuff on, added to the order form, a bunch of different um, hand eye stamps, and we're just, things are busy. The spring spring season is here, and uh, the disc golf, the disc golf community is ready to pick up some new plastic. Absolutely. 
Um, I wonder if I could get Danny to help us out real quick, or Anthony, either one that's paying attention. No, nope, they're busy. They're busy. Here comes Anthony. Can you grab that commander bag? We want to show these people this sweet, two yeah. open commander. Oh, oh the well, oh, actually, he already has it. Never mind. Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> Appreciate your help. So we actually, so we just got uh, a new shipment of bags in. We got this noise um, commander. The previous ones have been had had the bright yellow I think I green. I be wearing a suit and tie if I wear the if I have this you could. commander bag. This is sleek looking. Man, I should have brought what? that. I your got. My tie. Okay, <laughs> that's true. That'll be on the next tie. show. I got, <laughs> I got a gift because uh -huh. I, I had to get dressed up in a suit right. for the first time and since I was like in high school. <laughs> and uh, one of my good friends um, got me a dynamic discs custom I didn't know that. tie. Yeah, you need to. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're, he's gonna wear it next time. Uh, so anyway, back to the bag. Uh, anyway, we got we got this uh, new commander bag available uh -huh. or available soon enough. What's the name of that one again? Uh, noise and black, I think. Oh right. I don't know. Heather and black. Is it on the site already? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Things just show up. We're just showing just them. So we'll put them on the site somewhere. And then the uh, exciting thing is. We've been talking about the Tooney, which is the largest event in Europe, has almost 800 players signed up for it. Bobby, Eric McCabe, and myself are headed over there in June. Paige Pierce is going. Ricky Wysocki is going, amongst many other players. Uh, huge event. Um, we have been working with Yuha on a uh, another exclusive bag for the Tooney, and this bag is that bag. We've actually had it here for months, um, but... I know those are, it, it, we are good now to announce this in the player pack for uh, all the amateurs, I believe all the amateurs. So um, a really cool bag, custom print. The only way we're gonna be able to get this is uh, at the Toonie yeah, and the or in Europe. So uh, looking forward to seeing all of our European friends last week in June for the Toonie, which is gonna be awesome. That is gonna be fantastic. Um, just want to remind you guys uh, that the Monkey Island Open is being played not this weekend, but the weekend after. But the reason I bring it up to our live viewers is that um, we're we're doing some tournament round coverage, coverage. I know you guys love watching tournament round coverage. So for some of the Dynamic Discs event, we are doing tournament coverage. Now, the last one Anthony put together was the winter warm-up. He did an excellent job. And so we're going to be filming. Danny and Anthony will be filming the Monkey Island Open final round and then Anthony will be editing that together. So again, subscribe to us on YouTube so you can make sure you can watch that uh, tournament round coverage. The Monkey Island Open is a 5K, 10K, grow yes. disc golf, 10,000, 5,000 or $10,000. Ace challenge. Do we know what hole that's on? 23. I don't know. <laughs> hole seven, it's gonna be hole seven. Ooh. So if you don't know what that is, is that and I, actually, we're not the only ones that do it. You can contact us if you have an event and you want to promote it by having a $5,000, $10,000 ACE challenge in it. Just let us know. Talk to Derek, and we'll figure out how to get it in your tournament. But what it is is if, if you get an ACE on a certain hole, and obviously there's certain specifications you have to follow and guidelines, if you throw it with any manufacturer, you get five grand for that ACE. If you throw it with something from Dynamic Disc, Westside Disc, or Latitude 64, you get 10 grand for that ace. Got to be on film. Again, all kinds of guidelines, but make sure you contact Derek Savory. Go to sponsorships, no, sponsorship at dynamicdisc.com. Tell them that Bobby and Jeremy said, I want to know about the 510 ace challenge. But yes, we're having it at Monkey Island Open. We'll see if someone hits that ace. And if we How do, cool would that be? That would be great. Oh, Anthony. Anthony. Said, sign up for the ace spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he said yes. Poor Anthony got a got a nice ace with his new Explorer from Latitude 264, um, and missed out on two hundred seventy five dollars. Missed out on mm. two hundred seventy five dollars because he thought he had signed up for the ace fund, but he had not. So get signed up for the uh, if you if you want to yeah. put one of those ace challenges in your tournament. Yeah. Speaking of grow disc golf, spring season. This is the perfect time to introduce somebody new to disc golf. Uh, if you haven't checked out our website, growdiscgolf.com, I encourage you to do that and uh, encourage you to put a disc in somebody's hand for the first time, take them out to the course and uh, show, them, show them why you love disc golf so much and chances are they're going to uh, be out on the disc golf course just as much as you are. Absolutely. 
Well, let's get to some questions real quick. We have one from Joshua. Oh, this is a good one. Ever thought of dynamic discs training weight putters? Just heavier <clears throat> weight practice putters. Uh, yeah, we've thought about those. Um, one of the issues that I see is that uh, when discs are thrown, um, th these chances are those discs are going to end up somewhere um, and get into somebody's hands that doesn't know exactly what that is. And people are going to throw those and somebody's going to get hit in the face and a 200 or 300 gram putter mm -hmm. uh, hurts a lot damage. more than a 175 gram putter. So uh, we haven't wanted to move forward with those yet, but we're always working on something. Yeah. Chad wants to know, let's talk about releases. He has a suggestion. We need something between the verdict and justice. That gap needs filled badly. That is on the discussion table for sure. Oh. Um, and uh, one thing we want to see what the uh, producing a lucid X verdict would do and or two, um, whether this Fuji um, helps fill that slot, because we know that that is a slot that um, players are missing out on slightly. Excellent. Well, that's all I have on the agenda. That's all, all I got. You got, Jeremy. Well, that about wraps it up. Oh, one last question comes in. What's the next evolution for the suspect? I throw the classic sauce for a putter, by the way. Next evolution for the suspect. I know we just got some really cool classic blend burst suspects in. Burst and, delicious. You know, burst aroma. Oh, oh. They, these ones are awesome. They just look so good. And he's got one just right here. I saw. Man, that is beautiful. I saw some black and gray ones and some black and red and it's just so cool always working on something always yeah. working on something next show is scheduled for april 16th absolutely so guys thanks again for tuning in we like to keep these nice short and sweet so we're going to end this one but thanks again for tuning in um caddy games get signed up for the 2018 inaugural gbo caddy Games. i'm i'm getting in on that too are you gonna get yeah on? i'm gonna win that we just win everything. Can anybody do anything around here? <laughs> You're going to take it off. Um, so anyway, if you want to find out more information, go to discoffscene.com, search for Caddy Games, or you can go to the Glass One Open Facebook page, see the video, see a kind of a quick example we put together of us playing the Caddy Games, and then uh, go to the page to find out information and get signed up. Even if you're not playing or if you're playing, get signed up for the Caddy Games. It's going to be amazing fun uh, had by all. Cool? Cool. All see right, you guys. guys. Thanks.